Hi, I'm John the Engineer Turmel, and tonight I'm going to participate in the saddleback debate between Barack Obama and John McCain, their first debate. There's a chance there's going to be a North American Union, and if ever there were, I'd be running for president or prime minister of that union. So I may as well take this opportunity to explain what I could do for not only Canada, but the United States and the world as well. So I'm going to be throwing in my answers and one-liners to these uh, arguments made by the other candidates. And I hope you appreciate the errors they're making and the ways they could be fixed. I don't want to take any money from the rich. I don't either, but I'm going to stop them taking it from the poor to give to the rich. I want everybody to get rich. Me too, except that's impossible as long as you have a structured system of taking from the poor in interest to give to the rich who don't need it. So as long as the banking system rips off the poor to give it to the rich, you can't have everybody getting rich. As long as the system lends out the abundance of those who don't need it right now to help those who could be working with it right now that maximizes wealth and maximizes the number of people getting rich so an interest-free system would maximize the number of people getting rich i i don't believe in class warfare or redistribution of the wealth well i believe in the redistribution of the wealth from those who have more than they need to those who could be using it right now and as long as somebody does the accounting to keep track of who owes who what, and the people who get it attempt to pay it back, that's all God asks for, for your savings. But, but I can tell you, uh, for example, there are small businessmen and women who are working 20, uh, 16 hours a day, seven days a week, that some people would classify as, quote, rich. My friends, and want to raise their taxes, and want to raise their payroll taxes. Let's have keep taxes low. Let's give every family in America a $7,000 tax credit for every child they have. Why settle at seven? Why not 10? Why not 20? If he can dream up seven, why can't he dream up 20? Let's give them a $5,000 refundable tax credit to go out and get the health insurance of their choice. Where's he coming up with all the money? Let's not have the government take over the health care system in America. Sure, it's working so well for 40 million Americans. So, so, so I think if you're just talking about income, how about 5 million? 5 million? Talk about being disconnected with the real world. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, but, but seriously, I don't think you can, I don't think seriously, that the point is that I'm trying to make here seriously, and, I, and I'm sure that c comment will be distorted. Yeah, seriously. Be serious now. But the point is, <laughs> the point is, the point is that we want to keep people's taxes low and increase revenue. He wants to keep taxes low and increase revenues. Think about that. And my friend, it was not taxes that mattered in America in the last several years. It was spending. Spending got completely out of control. We spent money in a way that mortgaged our kids' futures. Right, on stupid wars you voted for. My friends, we spent $3 million of your money to study the DNA of bears in Montana. Now, I don't know if that was a paternity issue or a criminal issue. <laughs> Yeah, and you voted to spend 10,000 million a month chasing the wrong guys in Iraq and Afghanistan. The point is, but the point is, it was three million of your money. It was your money. And, and you know, we laugh about it, but we cry. And we should cry because the Congress is supposed to be careful stewards of your tax dollars. He's disgusted with three million to save bears while he's spending 10,000 million a month doing nothing good in Iraq. I'd rather spend the money on the bear. So what did they just do in the middle of an energy crisis when in California we are paying $4 a gallon for gas? Went on vacation for five weeks. I guarantee you, two things they never miss, a pay raise and a vacation. And we should stop that and call them back. As if going on vacation changes anything. And not raise your taxes. We should not and cannot raise taxes in tough economic times. Yeah, can't do much splashing in the pool when there's not much liquidity in the pool. 
So it doesn't matter really what my definition of rich is because I don't want to raise anybody's taxes. I really don't. He sounds like a broken record, as if paying taxes for stuff you get is somehow wrong. Hey, I don't mind paying my taxes for good stuff. I wouldn't want to pay taxes for interest or war, but no objection whatsoever to paying tax for good stuff I get. In fact, I want to give working Americans a better shot at having a better life. And he really wants to give America a better shot. We all know the challenges, my friends, if I could be serious. Americans tonight in California and all over America are sitting at the kitchen table, recently and suddenly lost a job, can't afford to stay in their home, education for their kids, affordable health care. That's right, they're busted, they're broke, they're desperate, and what's he going to offer them? These are tough problems. These are tough problems. You talk to them every day, all the time. every day. My friends, we've got to give them hope and confidence in the future. That's what we need to give them. These are tough problems. He can't solve them, but he's got to give them hope and confidence that maybe someone can. And I can inspire them. I can lead, and I know that our best days are ahead of us. All right. Well, he doesn't inspire, and leading them off a cliff in Iraq doesn't promise better days. Okay, let's go to education. America right now ranks 19th in high school graduations. We're first in incarcerations. Not good. Not good. 80% um, of Americans' recent polls said they believe in merit pay now uh, for teachers do you do you, i'm not asking do you think all teachers should get a raise do you think best better teachers should be paid better they should be paid more than poor teachers pretty stupid question unless you live in a world without enough money i think that we should and i've said this publicly that we should set up a system of performance pay uh -huh. for teachers Negotiated with teachers, worked with, worked with the teachers to figure out the assessments so that they feel like they're being judged fairly, uh -huh. that it's not at the whim of the principal, that it's not simply based on a single high-stakes standardized test. Uh -huh. But the basic notion that teaching is a profession, that teachers are underpaid, so we need to pay them all more but, and create a higher baseline, but then we should also reward excellence. Reward excellence. I think that is, is a concept that all of okay. us should embrace. All right, teachers are underpaid, and there's nothing you can do about that. It looks like they're always going to be underpaid, but the better ones should be paid more. Well, of course, when you learn how to do government finance interest-free, then, of course, there's no problem with teachers being underpaid. You can pay them what they're worth. About 80% of America says they support merit pay for the best teachers. Now, I don't want to hear your stump speech on education. Okay. Yes, yes, and find bad, <laughs> and, and find bad teachers another line of work. <laughs> choice and competition, choice and competition, homeschooling, charter schools, vouchers, all the choice and competition. I want... Look, I want every American family to have the same choice that Cindy and I made mm -hmm. and Senator Obama and Mrs. Obama made as well. He really wants all these wonderful things and wanting all these wonderful things is all that's needed for him to think he should be elected. And that was we wanted to send our children to the school of our choice. Mm -hmm. And uh, charter schools work, my friends. Homeschooling works. Vouchers in our nation's capital works. We've got thousands of people in Washington, D.C. that are applying for a voucher system. New York City is reforming. I go back to New Orleans. They were, as we know, the tragedy devastated them. They now have over 30 charter schools in the city of New Orleans, and guess what? It's all coming up. It's all coming up. It's a simple principle, but it's going to take dedicated men and women particularly in the teaching profession, to make it happen. 
And by the way, here, in, uh, I, I won't go any further, but the point is, it's all based, and it's being proven, the choice and competition for every American family. And it is the civil rights issue of the 21st century, because every citizen's child now has an opportunity to go to school. But what kind of opportunity is if you send them to a failing school? That's why we've got to give everybody the same opportunity and choice. Yeah, we gotta. We gotta do all these nice things. We gotta get education. We gotta get healthcare. We gotta get space travel. We gotta get roads. We gotta get sewers. We gotta get peace. We got all these neat things we gotta get. Hey, he knows what we gotta get. He just doesn't know how to get there.